Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Lois Ad. My name is Simana Lukafo and I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday and I hope you guys are ready for the party party, whatever that means. Uh, in this video, we'll be talking about textile density or texture density or pixel density. This is a term you'll hear in creating video games, but it's also quite important when working inside Blender. One of the best suspect or where you find the problem with this is when working with a head model. So let's jump right in and let's have a more practical example of this. I'm going to bring out the UV editor. Uh, we can find that here. Okay, so this is already unwrapped, but I'm going to just clear that. Let's delete the UV. Okay, so the way we'll go about creating UV in Blender is to select a bunch of edges and mark them as seams. So select this, you select this one, and if you press U, with the latest update of Blender, you should find them here. You can mark a seam, or if you press Ctrl E, you should have this mark seam. Okay, and we can go for both sides here. Like a seam. And now if you grab the face brush and you press L for island, you can select each section broken down based on the seam. So it's a nice way for you to check if your seams are actually cutting things very adequately. So I'm going to hide this for now. Let's get the ears. So I'm holding down Alt and right clicking to select this edge loop. If you hold down Shift Alt and right click. It'll select another edge loop, so we have two selected. So, like we did earlier, Maxim. Gonna grab this face and L island and hide. Okay, so we've cut out the head. We're also gonna cut inside the mouth, Maxim, and we can uncut the head. So, we're cutting it from the back. And we'll use we don't want we want it up to this extent and we'll press ctrl e maxim okay let's cut up the inside mouth so it looks nice when we unwrap it we want to cut it off from each side okay so now we can hit you to unwrap everything and we should have our UV map looking like this. So at this point, if you really want to control how things will look, uh, because if you skip this next part, you will find that most of your textures, like if you sculpt it on, in ZBrush or try to bake it out later, the textures might come out quite distorted. So this, this step is quite important to check your UVs, uh, check the texture density to see how it's been distributed to make sure we're getting even distribution of the textile density. Textile density, sorry. So we'll go to the material and let's add an image texture. We can do 4K and then for the generate type we'll use UV grid and hit OK. We can switch the color within the viewport to texture. So overall, it does a good job. We have some nice distribution around this area. And we have some nice distribution around this area. The ear needs some more work. So we can see we have um, some nice density here, but we start getting some stretching here. And this is the main culprit for most faces, the nose and the mouth area. So what happens when we go ahead and sculpt on this? So let's see what happens. Okay, so here in ZBrush, I have gone ahead to add some fine details to the skin. Uh, we can see here in Z ZBrush doesn't care about the texture because it's working on the geometry level. Basically, as much as long as you can subdivide it and you have a good topology, have an evenly distributed um, faces around you get and you subdivide it, it will look nice and the details will be distributed nicely. Uh, we can look at the nose. We have nice distri uh, evenly distributed effect. Uh, so this look is good and everything, but the problem comes when you have to bake this down 
and use it for your final render because this is quite unrealistic to export and use for animation. So let's see what happens with our color and UV setup. I'm going to go to the plugin and let's export just the normals. So I'm exporting a 4K texture and I will save it on my desktop. Okay, so we'll come back once it's done. Okay, so it's done and here in Blender, let's quickly apply that material, uh, the texture. Then we'll connect it to the normals. Okay, so if we preview it, So overall, we get a nice effect for everything. I mean, the ears turned out okay, um, even with those little distortion which we had. But we can see here in the mouth region, especially in the nose, might be little, um, but it's basically like the idea of ignoring stuff like this. You get this type of result where every other place look very crisp but the nose region looks quite blurry and doesn't look as detailed as the other part. And this is a problem that can propagate to your asset when you don't pay attention to the texel density or the texture density um, distribution, basically. Okay, so how do you fix it? And that's what we're gonna do today. Bring back the texture and this is the culprit. So you want to go to edit mode and make sure you have your UV map selected. So I'm going to select the face and L to select island so we just focus on this and at this point I can hide this. Also I don't want to see the selection in the viewport, I want to see just the UV map so I can manipulate it nicely. I'm going to turn off that overlay. So it's a matter of basically scaling things up. I'm gonna click on one vertices around the nose area so you can just eyeball it if you've UV unwrapped your, your asset nicely. You should be able to locate things. And I'm also gonna turn on the proportional edit because currently without it, I can scale this up but nothing seems to be happening. So I'm gonna turn on the proportional edit so it influences every other thing. Okay, we can just leave it as default and that's scaling. So we can use, if you scroll the middle mouse, you can control things some more. So you wanna do it gradually. So it doesn't kind of mess up the other good parts. Okay, and next we'll grab the lip. We're basically trying to distribute a lot of points to it. So once you get looking pretty decent, we can select this and go to the UV and let's search for minimize stretch. So if you click on this and move your mouse, it slowly start blending everything. It's kind of like a nice slide smooth feature. But we still get some weird things going on here. So one way to fix it is if you go to the tool menu, we want to grab the scope brush. We we'll just grab. And the same way you do smoothing in, in the scope mode by holding shift and clicking can allow you to do that here. So we want to smooth shift and smooth click, just smooth it out. So the, the shortcut also you can press is control V. It's, it's the minimize stretch shortcut, so control V. One way to quickly kind of distribute things some more. If you feel you need still need more, you can always right click, proportion, edit. 
So it's a matter of kind of putting a lot of density where you need it to be. And smoothing it out. So we have like an evenly distributed density. Don't worry about the texture stretching for now. It'll not be an, so much of an issue later. So for the ear, we want to unwrap it properly. So let's see what's... So maybe just drawing a circle and cutting it, it's not doing the trick. We, maybe we need to cut it even more. Okay, so the distributions are more even. Let's do that for the rest. Okay, so the distribution is much better. So let's say we are happy with it, but we want to re unwrap the ears again. And we don't want to mess up what we already have. So you can select things you like and press P. It's going to pin it. And if you unwrap again, it's going to ignore that. So we can just hit unwrap. And it's unwrapping just the ears. And now we can select everything and Alt P. And let's do pack. So we want to scale the ears down a bit, quite big. And back island. Okay. Let's see what we have. It's not perfect, of course. You can do. You can always apply more work. Uh, but the idea of this video is to kind of show you the importance of this. And once you're happy, let's try to reapply the materials we did earlier. I'm going to export this. And let's create the details again. Okay, and now we go ahead and bake it. Okay, it's done now, and in Blender, switch back to our material, bring in the new texture, so you can see here in the nose, we're getting a lot more detail and less blurriness, little to know, kind of matching. Even here where we kind of had little stretching, you can see that it gave us a bit of problem. So definitely something to look out for. I'll make sure the texture is looking right. Okay. We can see the nose area is pretty awesome now. And I, I hope you guys kind of get where, where I'm going with this video. It's something you need to pay attention to. It definitely improves, uh, increases the awesomeness of your artwork and especially your characters. And that will be from this tutorial. I hope this was quite informative and I hope you took one thing or one or two things out of it. That will be it. Have a wonderful weekend. See you next time. Bye bye for now.